because you uh, have gone through the procedure of uh, TUM. So how does one apply at TUM? Because that's a dream university now for every yeah. Yeah, so for applying to TUM, again, I'll be sharing this link at the end, but uh, you just go to the TUM website. Um, so here it is. And uh, you select uh, German or English, depending on whichever you want to select. Um, and then you go to studies. And under studies, you'll see uh, degree programs listed here. You just click on this. And here you'll see a variety of degree programs that are being offered. Uh, so even within, say, mathematics, there are a variety of uh, programs that are being offered. Now you need to select the one that uh, has most relevance for you in terms of interest and what you studied uh, in your bachelor's. Um, so this is one very strict thing that uh, universities in Germany are looking at. Uh, they want to see if you satisfy the prerequisites for the program that you're applying to. So make sure you know what the prerequisites are and make sure that you satisfy them. So once you have selected which program that you want to apply for, say this, this, this is the one I'm studying for, um, you'll see the type of study, you'll see what languages uh, are needed. So in my case, uh, it's a, you can complete the whole program in English, but some courses are offered in German also. Um, and uh, yeah, again here, you, you'll get the idea of everything. What does this program cover? This will give you an overview of what you learn language of instruction. And now this is another important part where application and admission. Here you'll see how should you go about applying. So here, when you're applying at TUM, there are two places that you need to apply for. One is with UniSS, you need to get this preliminary documentation. And this is listed under the documents that you need. So this preliminary documentation is basically there to convert your Indian grades into German system. Um, you can see more details here. So you apply for this with the UniSS. They, they'll tell you exactly how you have to apply. And very important thing to note, uh, is that when you're applying for the VPD, you need, you might, in most cases, you'll have to send your documents directly via post to Germany. So you need to ap apply beforehand, keep enough time for that. And uh, yeah, there there is this web portal where you could go sign in and they'll tell you exactly how you have to do it. And uh, apart from that, uh, you'll have to also submit notarized hard copies. So where do you get this notarization? You get this notarization from your university. Notarization for basic, what does notarization mean? It's basically to say that the copy that I'm sending to UniAssist, this copy is validated by the university. Uh, like I'm not doing some forgery here. That, that's basically what they want to verify to. So um, these places can do the notarization, authorized schools and institutions of higher education and stuff. Available at TUM website, right? Yeah, at TUM website, it's available. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So first thing is if you are applying at TUM, uh, the first thing is you need to uh, make a login ID and password at UniAssist. No? Yeah. And UniAssist is basically an authorized body uh, in Germany, which uh, basically also converts the grades that, which are in Indian system into German system. And after you receive this VP from the UniAssist, you have to apply at TUM portal no? through its. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. to, for the VPD, one has to also send the hard copy of the notarized um, 
documents yeah for for the vpd and the and tum would also require uh, hard copies and one more thing is that when you are applying uh, so for tum uh, you'll have to get the vpd done for some universities you won't need it um, that's also listed uh, at their websites but for tum you would and uh, um here also it's registered basically that if you obtain uh, your documents outside uea then you need to get it reviewed by uni assist and here you will find the online application portal where for the tum uh, mm -hmm. yeah oh. okay yeah. so uh, like what all documents does one require to apply at TUM. Can you please just show us the yeah. list? Yeah, so there, there are these documents. They, they have listed application for admission, degree certificate, uh, transcript of records. Basically, this is your grade sheet. Um, the, the curriculum, um, I'll show this once. This, this is required specifically by the TUM because they want to check if you satisfy the prerequisites for the program, so they want to know in detail what all did you study. So, for instance, uh, one of my subjects was real analysis, um, and I studied uh, it from this book. And these chapters are the ones that I studied. Um, they need this in uh, so much detail because these would be the foundations for the courses that you'll be taking at uh, TUM. And you can get this from the university or you can make this list yourself. Overview, what all uh, did we study or did one study at uh, his or her university here in India in bachelors? Yeah. yeah? That means that's the course curriculum. We have that's to the course curriculum. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. So how long uh, does a university like Uniasis takes to uh, revert back? So this would depend on when your documents are reaching them, but after that also you can assume around two, three weeks. Uh, just uh, for every, uh, like when you're applying for the VPD and everything, you should uh, ideally check at the UniSS website about what the latest information is and how long they will take to apply. Uh, reply. They, they will answer that. Um, and this information would be listed, but for me, it took around uh, two weeks. Uh, for them to reply with the answer and yeah th th it's very important that you start early because this vpd thing is going also going to take time and um, you can't apply without the vpd at the end.